Hi guys and welcome back to another update on Annie's Diary. In this video today, I'm going to tackle the brake master cylinder. Just renew it in its entirety. Let's have a look at the bench and uh, see what we've got for today's job. Cup of tea, most important. Um, this is a new brake master cylinder here, um, which I'll be fitting to the car. I will overhaul the old one. Um, and keep it as a spare um, but I've just decided to renew it in its entirety the tank that's on it on the old one it's grubby and I'd rather the tank looked clean um, I also have a, a washer an o-ring which goes between the brake master cylinder and the servo but looking at this it's already got one so I may not need that that could be a spare you know um, <clears throat> they did recommend to buy I know ring when you bought the, the master cylinder, so I've done that anyway. Some parts I'm going to be using, um, or tools I'm going to be using, sorry, is a syringe to suck out the um, brake fluid that's in the reservoir at the moment. It just makes the job a little bit cleaner. I have a 716 brake spanner here and a half inch socket. I've also got a 13mm spanner here. But I might not need that, um, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> and I'll also give the brake pipes a little clean. Makes them easier for coming off. Right, here's Annie. She's up on axle stands today because I'll obviously need to bleed the brakes once I've um, changed this. And um, as you can see, this is the fairly that's going to get changed. Um, it should be a relatively straightforward job. And um, off with the old one with the new, as simple as that. I've already rebuilt the clutch master cylinder just at the back there as you can see. That job turned out absolutely fantastic, really happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll eventually rebuild um, the brake master cylinder as well and keep it as a spare. I'll clean it up, rebuild it, and that'll be that. Right, so first job is get this drained and um, get it off. The external microphone uh, batteries went flat in it, hence why I've had to dub some sound over that. Anyway, um, as you can see there, I got the master cylinder off, no problem at all. came off really easy. So I'm just discussing what I've done here. And also the brake servo. Now that was a last minute change of mind to take that off because I was just going to leave that on and paint it in situ um, with some brush paint. But I thought, I've came this far, it's only a few bolts, I'll just whip it off. So that was exactly what I'd done there. Um, whipped the servo off and uh, basically stripped it down and cleaned it. Here I've got the servo outside, that's um, hanging up on the 
on the um, axle, well, it's not an axle stand, it's a ramp, just to dry off. I've had to move it to the back of the car because my next door neighbour decided to cut his grass again for the second time in two days. He knew that I was painting so he thought it was a good idea to cut the grass. And as you can see there I also got the mounting bracket for the servo um, painted up. That's all built back up and as you can see there it's looking quite good. I've got a couple of bits of damage on here uh, simply because the paint's still soft and I've touched it or leaned it against my uh, overalls and it's indented it but that's a problem that I can sort out um, later on once it's on the car um, what I'll do now is I'll get the servo mounted back onto the bracket and I may as well fit the brake master cylinder as well um, it just makes it a lot easier so let's um, crack on That's all built up now and um, I think that looks a million times better um, even if I do say so myself. So let's get this um, refitted back to the car. a little bit of tissue in here that makes it easier for fitting the nut because it fell off the end of the socket. So a little bit of tissue in there that holds the, the nut in place and allows you to thread it in. That's the fluid into the master cylinder, so what I'll do now is um, get the brake bleeder onto it and we'll start um, bleeding the, the brakes. Right, let's get the, the brakes bled now. I'll start in the back corner, so um, we'll jump round to the back. Right, that's that bleeding a pull open. So it's now forcing um, fluid down the line from the front. So we'll just let that bleed through until the air's out it. Just crack open the bleed valve on the pass on the driver's side and then just repeat the process. Right moving on to the front um, passenger side now. I'll just crack open that bleed nipple oh, without dropping the spanner. Look. 
and then just let that bleed through for a few seconds. And finally, get the, the driver's side front done. So if I pop the dust cap off it, you'll notice that I put new, new bleed nipples on these um, calipers. I found a new pair. This one will bleed the quickest. Right, that's uh, the new brake master cylinder on and um, bled up. Paint's still soft, but having the rag down the back there, it's, it's um, indented the paint there. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that for a few days, let it harden, I'll mask everything off and then give it another splat of paint um, just to make it look tidier. But I'm very happy with how it's turned out. There's no leaks, so that's a bonus. So all I need to do now is take it out of drive and test it. But before I do that, I've got a few other jobs to do. So, if you've made it this far guys, once again, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you shortly. Bye for now.